Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video of Firebase with Flutter. So, in this video, I am going to show you what are CRUD operations and how we can perform it in our Flutter application. CRUD operations are basically nothing but the addition of four things that are create, read, update, and finally delete. These are basically the operations of any of the database, including Firebase. And in this video, we are going to perform only the create operation of Firebase. So let's see how we can do this. By putting first thing first, let's move to the browser. So I already have created the Firebase project from the Firebase console and it is set up with Flutter application. So if you don't know how we can create the Firebase project and set it up with Flutter application. So I already have created videos on these topics so you can check them out or I will share the link in my video description. After doing all this stuff, creating the Firebase project from the Firebase console and set it up with Flutter application, you will see this window on your screen. So you simply have to come to this build and select this Firestore database. First this will ask for get started and after this you will see this window on your screen. This is basically our cloud Firestore database. You can see here start the collection. Unlike any other referential database like MySQL and RDBMS, we have collection and inside the collection we have documents and some bunch of fields instead of rows and columns. So let's see how we can create the data manually in our cloud Firestore database. So first I am going to show you how we can create manually then we will create this data from our Flutter application. So first it is asking for the collection name collection ID so this will be users and then press next. So we will generate the auto ID for our document and there will be two field basically first field will be name or username the username will be john doe and next field will be his age and its type will be number and value will be 55 you can see these fields are keys and values just like a map field type and value keys and value basically like this so let me save it we got our user collection and inside a document and two fields of keys and value key age 55 and username john doe so like this we can create data manually in our cloud firestore database and that was it so let's move to the android studio and start creating the data from our application so first let's delete this collection from here we will create it from our application of flutter users delete just like this and now we are on our android studio i already have set up my firebase in my flutter application again if you don't know i already have created videos on this topic you can check them out by hitting the link on my video description this everything is basic steps of material app and calling home page you may be familiar with that because now you're using firebase with flutter application so you may be familiar with this so let's move to this home page and now we are on our home page so there is basically nothing but a scaffold and app bar with the title of firebase create and a center button and when we tap this button this will simply print in the debug console create data for now, it is not creating the data in the cloud first store, but we will perform this operation by doing some code. So let me show you the UI how it looks like. So that's the UI, a simple button. When we click this and let's check the debug console, it prints the create data, but it is not creating the data in the cloud first store because we didn't write the code yet. So let's do it here. We will call a function which will be create and just like this so this function will be feature and inside this we are going to access the user collection like to create the user collection as we have did inside here like the users so we are going to do it from the code so from the code it will be something like this final 
user collection and from the far best far store instance and the collection users so first we have access to the user collection and now inside this collection we are gonna have a document so how we will create the document it's pretty simple let me show you a single line of code will require for this so we have created another variable of document reference or doc, doc ref equal to user collection dot doc inside this user collection there will be a document on the user id and then we are going to create some data inside this document so to do that we have to await a function document reference dot set some data this except the map as i show you inside the cloud fast database in here so this will accept a map of username and name will be again john and his age will be 55 just like this and we are good to go how to start the application for resetting everything and let me remind you one thing if you don't know from where this firebase firestore instance coming from this is simply a dependency of cloud firestore you can simply get it from the pub dev here you need to add these two dependencies also this firebase core for initializing firebase and this cloud firestore to use the cloud firestore database and now when i press this create and check the cloud firestore restart it and we got our user collection on the user id we got h55 and john as we have created from here so this function simply triggered from this on tap and this create a user collection for us user id which we have specified here a manual id and h55 and username john these map values so that was the creating data from directly calling the function so now we are going to create two fields and when we enter some data in these fields and press this create so that particular data will going to be stored in our first store database so let's also do this we need two fields so we have to remove this center from here and make it column to have two more fields first field will be username field and here will comes our username controller which we are going to create in a while and next field will be of edge which accept the edge controller and also put some space in here by doing size box of height 10 just like this and now let's create these controllers so these are our controllers from which we are going to control the text of our forms. So also not forget to dispose these fields in order to avoid some memory leaks. Just like this you can dispose your controllers. And now simply instead of this directly passing the john we will take the data from the username controller dot text and inside the edge we will take the data from the edge controller dot text just like this one and also there will be no more manual id to let far best to create a random id for our documents so you simply have to remove this manual id from here so far best will generate a random id for each of the document so press ctrl s to hot reload and then we got two fields so i need some more space around this so on the column we will wrap this column with padding just like this and now our username will be something like steve and his age will be 45 and press create and let's go and check the first store and we got another document on the randomly generated id by first store and 45 steves yeah that's great we got our data created on the randomly generated id and that's great let's create another one that will be let's say e tech viral e tech viral is simply an organization is 
एज लेट्स है थर्टी थ्री एंड क्रिएट एंड लेट्स गो एंड चेक वी गॉट एनदर डॉक्यूमेंट इन साइड आवर यूजर कलेक्शन थर्टी थ्री एंड ई टेक वायरल दैट्स क्रिएट लाइक दिस यू कैन क्रिएट द डेटा इन यूर क्लाउड फर्स्ट टॉ डेटा बेस एंड दैट्स इट सो आई होप I have cleared everything for you how to create data in your Firestore database and what are CRUD operations. So we simply have performed the create operation manually and also from our Flutter application. So that was it for the create operation. So in the next video, we are going to read this particular data we just have created in a while. We are going to read this data in the next video. so hope you like this video if so show some love in the comment section and also let me know if you don't understand something of this create operation and also not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future updates and beautiful videos like this for now goodbye and i will see you in the next video